Is it all of them? Yo, what's going on people? Sentry Mad Collector here, the Toy Hunting Machine is back again with another hunt video. Boy, oh boy, folks, it feels like ages since I've been to the Connecticut store, Stamford Target, both Walmarts and Walmart, Walmart, both Walmarts, something very wrong with me, both Walmarts in Norwalk, Connecticut, 650 Main, 680 Connecticut Avenue, and of course, Donut Delight in Norwalk. I don't know the building number. How do I not know the building number of that store? I don't know, but it's on Connecticut Avenue in Norwalk, and we haven't been there in what feels like forever. And as you toy hunters know, a week is like a year, and it's been at least a few weeks since we've been to these stores. So that is how we are kicking off this toy hunt here today. Hoping to run into some new Star Wars early. Shout out to Ty TV. I'm going to link uh, his channel in the description of this video below. Support our community, folks. He's a good guy. Great channel. Um, he's been finding Star Wars stuff uh, since at least a week ago. Some new stuff. I'm hoping to run into that. And of course, the usual Marvel Legends, Motu Origins. NECA TMNT, 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 Playmates TMNT, TMNT. That's the sort of stuff that I like. I don't collect Transformers. GI Joe, we have stuff to talk about during Coffee Talk. HasLab, I'm excited for some of these new releases. And I'm babbling right now, so I'm going to stop this intro. And I will see you guys at Stanford. How do you go from like to stop? I'll see you at Stamford, Connecticut, Target. Here we go. Target Stamford with all sorts of boxes. Looks like we are getting ready for the holiday season. And into the fray we go. Dinos, not much happening. Maybe it's all on the carts. <laughs> this is new. New to me. Star Wars stuff. Revelations. Looks like we've got another stack of fakers if anyone in the Stanford, Connecticut area needs. It's most certainly a trap. And wrestling, got some rock and Cena Ultimates, Jungle Boy, Bray Wyatt Basic, might be a good thing to pick up. And let's see, into Marvel Legends land. Ooh. This is the first time I'm seeing this guy. Very nice. Got some nice weight to him. Big boy. All Eternals out here. There's another one. Looks like he probably belongs here. Two Hydra Stompers. Very cool. Might have to grab one. Uh, Eternal Peg Warmers. They might be eternally peg warming for sure. Some more over here. And I don't see any Joes. What about DC? Anything good here? Cavill black suit. It's cool, it's nice. A few of them, cyborg. Bunch of them, I guess. And uh, the usual, as far as DC goes. Okay, I might have to pick up this Hydra Stomper. I still need that zombie cap. Oh, speaking of possible needs, anything new here? The Silver Surfer, this is the first wave of that stuff. Okay, there's no... Wow, another one? <laughs> there you go, here's your Hydra Stomper army. Oh baby, it's NECA time. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got... Give it chase. Not chase. There's Blue Beetle, Target exclusive. Raven spawn, a couple of them, some mirror verse. Anything good down here? Nerp. What else? Some MK11 figures. Shao Kahn. Got the uh, Bloody Cabal Target exclusive. It's like a Kahn exclusive, right? Some Muckmans. Or at least one Muckman. Oh, there we go. Two Muckmans. Some Muckmans. <laughs> Chrome Dome, Redeemer. Nothing that's really standing out to me that I need to sell Vira. To me, Terrors is new to me. Uh, yeah, I don't think 
for grabbing anything from here, but I do need to make a decision on the Hydra Stomper, so we are gonna head back into the main toy aisle, son of Frankie, and check it out. So the NECA section is literally a few feet that way. We just came from there. And on the way, this is just some random end cap by like Barbies and stuff. The uh, girl section, as you can see, random end cap with a uh, vulture, homecoming vulture, first time seeing this. Pretty cool. Looks good, don't need it. Um, nice to see them, three of them here at Target Stanford, along with Mobius and uh, some more Eternal stuff. So on the way out, this is another random end cap with more Eternal stuff. So it's like pretty much the whole wave in like three end caps worth. There's the main toy aisle for reference. So a few end caps down, we're on the way. So the main toy aisle, we've got more. So just figured I'd point that out for anyone that zooms on by like I do sometimes. Good old 650, haven't rounded this corner in a while. What do we got here? Hollywood Cena, a couple of them, some basics. And got He-Man, a couple more Hollywood Cenas with the uh, flash of hairstyle. And we have more Turbo Man figures just in time for the holiday season. Uh, dinos, nothing, balls stacked. Oh, Beast Wars, this is new stuff. Let's see. Cheetor, cool. Bunch of them. Along with, uh, what's his face? Rat Trap. Yeah. That's cool. So I got a handful of each of those. What else do we have going on here? Not much. We do have a ton of stalkers. Wow. And look at this. Cobra. Cobra and stalkers. Do we have any officers in the house? Does not appear to be the case. I'm waiting for the O-ring collection to come out. Very excited for that. We'll uh, get into that at Coffee Talk, but uh, yeah, here's your Star Wars Black Series selection. Very nice. And DC, I'm assuming there's no King Shark. We do have a demon sighting though. Always nice. Um, yeah, nada. And I think, I think folks, that's going to do it. Let's see, what do we have over here? Anything? Nope pretty bare here. Uh, although, I will say, if you're a vintage collection Joe guy, there's some stuff here. Come get it at 650 Main. And with that, I will see you guys at 680 Connecticut Avenue to finish out the uh, Connecticut circuit. 680. Here we go. More Beast Wars. More Eternals. And more blank walls. And shelves. Not, not great. What we have over here is got Infinity Saga. Wow. There are a lot of people looking for this. I don't know, at least in the past, past few months, but I mean, take a look at that. Rose of Fat Thor. Uh, got some internals. This is very loud in here. Hard to even concentrate. Um, Basics and nothing special for wrestling. <laughs> Looks like we've got Evil Lynn from Fisto or whatever wave that was. We haven't gotten a Mojo Origins wave in a very long time. Uh, this tank fully stocked again. Let's see if we can find ourselves a Cobra officer. Not that I would take one, but. Uh, just for fun. Yep, I will pick that up in a minute. Just, it looks like Norwalk is all fully stocked on Cobras and uh, Stalkers of all sorts of kinds. Of all sorts. Oh boy. It's a lot. It's a lot for your army building. Right here, baby. 
680 Connecticut Avenue. And also, if you're into uh, blank shelves, right here, baby. All the empty shelves you want. Uh, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. No other legends than the ones that we just saw. Armored Bat, love this figure, I have it. And that is it. Coffee talk, we go. The real reason I came to Connecticut. Bam! Sup from the top, baby, let's go. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's just so delicious. And by suck from the top, baby, let's go, what I mean by that is you really want to, if you want to catch the entire, all of the frothiness, you've got to, just the tip now, right at the top, where all the frothiness lives, and then, mmm, 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 and you lick the lid. Anyway, what can I say? Some of these stores are starting to, what was that, starting, starting, starting to, I think got some froth in my throat. Um, some of these stores are starting to stock for the holidays, it seems. Uh, Target Stanford is a good example of that. Loads of trucks and dollies and even pallets that I saw on the way out uh, off camera. Uh, my buddy Joe, shout out to him at a local Target over by us, one that we will be seeing at some point in this hunt video. Uh, Target, White Plains, also stocking heavy as of the past week or so. I missed out on some three and three quarter retro uh, Marvel Legends last week there. Just haven't had a chance now that I'm back at work for three days a week. But now being back at work, I do get to go to some New York City toy shops a little more often. If you guys haven't already, go check out my last video. At, go check out all of my hunt videos for that matter. But my last hunt video over at Forbidden Planet, always a great shop, always a great visit, uh, always a great place. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, it's that or Toy Tokyo. If I really had to make a choice, it's tough. Uh, Midtown Times Square, also really good. Uh, um, but anyway, I've been uh, back at work three days a week. So you guys have been seeing some of the uh, New York City toy and collectible shops as of late on this channel, uh, more than Target and Walmart, but you know, I'm not even but, that's just how it's been. I wouldn't say that's uh, a but, it's just how it's been. Um, something I enjoy doing ju at least just as much or more than uh, you know Target and Walmart farming for new figures. So uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. Uh, what I'm not enjoying are these empty shelves. And uh, we're seeing a lot of that. Heavy Beast Wars, though. So those have been coming through, it seems. Always interesting uh, to see that stuff. Um, that Optimus Primal's very cool. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. Did anyone buy that yet? Uh, what are your thoughts on that line? I mean, like, it's... I love Transformers. I love throwback lines. I just can't get into that. I want to make an exception for that figure. I really like it. And I could see myself mixing that in to some of like my uh, Japanese vinyl figures. Um, very reminiscent. Something that's that I think could definitely... I don't know. I got to think about it, but uh, I do like that figure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. Uh, lots of Eternals. I don't collect it. I would like to find the zombie cap. Can't find that. Um, tons of Joes. Wow. Vintage. If you are a vintage... G.I. Joe Vintage Collection. Let me specify that. A Vintage Collection, not Vintage Joe. These aren't Vintage, vintage Joes. Vintage Collection G.I. Joe Collector. Uh, and you're in the local area. Tri-State, New York, New Jersey, especially Connecticut. Uh, come to Norwalk. They are in abundance here. Uh, both stores. Uh, 650 and 680. 650 Main, 680 Connecticut Avenue. The most Cobra I've seen. Uh, I've only seen an officer, one officer once a few months ago. We've uh, got that on film, on video. And uh, that's really all that these stores have had. But there's always online pre-orders and holy moly, holy guacamole. Hasbro Pulse, HasLab, they've done it again. They've got me again. I did throw down on 
the HasLab Rancor. I had to. I mean, like, Rancor is one of my favorite creatures, my favorite monsters from one of my favorite franchises of all time. And uh, you don't really get him very often. So it's like, what do you do? You kind of got to roll the dice, right? What do you guys think of uh, the Rancor? Did anyone pre-order that? I know some of my uh, buddies in the community have. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, HasLab Rancor, what do you guys think? What do you think of the price point? I mean, we already know what the price point. Um, but uh, if it's good, if it can stand up, if it's got uh, the right engineering um, to it, I think that it's well worth the price. Um, I love what I'm seeing by the sculpt of it. It uh, looks very true to the movie. Um, so I'm very excited for that. I did throw down on that. I also, what I'm honestly just as excited for, I also put down on HasLab friggin' loved me a few weeks ago. Uh, I did put down on the Sky Striker. I am so excited. We're finally getting, and that's what I really wanted to, brings me to what I really wanted to talk to you guys today at Coffee Talk about, which was, yeah, it's like, you know, eh, the shelves, they're empty, they're this, that, beast, blah, blah. What I really wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, is the O-Ring G.I. Joe collection. It's finally here. This is all I've ever wanted. Hasbro, the Hasbro gods are listening. They've been listening. They've been hearing all the complaining, uh, I guess. I don't know, but man, I mean, or this is just their plan the whole time is get people to buy stuff, get people to buy stuff again, and then get people to buy stuff some more again. Um, but not me. Uh, I did start dabbling in the vintage collection now, wow, a few years ago, that rhymed, um, when it first came out. And I was like, ah, these aren't vintage Joes, but they're cool, I guess. I got a few, and I'm like, uh, I don't love them. They are not vintage Joes. I can't have them. But I do want three and three-quarter Joes, so what do I do? You know, I do collect the actual vintage G.I. Joe figures, but realistically, you know, if I want to get all of this, if I want to get, you know, my Joe collection back from when I was a kid um, and display them and with vehicles and all this stuff, realistically, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? It's just this vintage collection stuff, but I didn't love it. So I moved away from the vintage collection, which I've mentioned on this channel plenty of times. And, uh, and then I went in and out of classified, decided to move away from that too, after the second round of it. Cause I'm like, these aren't the GI Joes that for, are for me. And the GI Joes for me are cartoon accurate and three and three quarter based on the O-ring vintage figures. And we didn't have that up until recently. Then Super 7 drops the Ultimates. I'm in for the big scale figures. Didn't have anything for the three and three quarters, so I just stayed out of vintage collection. I didn't even, I even moved my uh, vehicles. I'm like, I don't want any of this stuff because some, some of those vehicles, or most of those vehicles, all of them, uh, come with the vintage collection figures that I don't want. So in my mind, I'm like, I feel like at some point they're going to give us classic O-ring figures. I don't know when, you know, I don't need to buy this stuff just to buy it. We talk about it all the time on this channel. Don't buy just to buy. Hold out and wait for the things that you want. If you get them, great, fantastic, that's awesome. You did the right thing by just not spending money on everything, in my opinion. Uh, if you don't get them, you don't get them. I'm never going to tell you what to do with your money, but uh, the only thing I will say I do for myself is stay true to your collecting sense and tastes and uh, don't buy something if you like it. Buy something if you love it. Uh, don't buy something because other people are buying it. Buy it because it makes sense for you to buy it. Um, that's and it can. That's easier said than done sometimes. Uh, but with the whole Joe thing, and I've gone back and forth, I was staying out of the three and three quarter realm. And then once I saw the O ring announcement, man, I am just so happy. I'm all in on that. I ordered the two pack. Just super happy. Uh, with that, and then of course the Sky Striker, which to me definitely would have to mean we're getting uh, vehicles with O-ring figures and a whole O-ring line. Dare I say, I'm so excited for that. Let me know in the comments. Anyone else jump in on that? I know I did. Oh yeah, baby. And I think that's going to wrap it up for this coffee talk. The rest of this hunt, what can you expect? Uh, some more stores, Target and Walmart. Um, Target. Target and Walmart. Uh, this frothiness, just all the froth to the head. It's like, mm -hmm. um, Target and Walmart, 
probably a GameStop over in Greenberg. Uh, yeah, so another handful of stores uh, left, queued up, and uh, hopefully we find something we need. If not, then, well, you saw what's on the shelves. Uh, anyway, I don't know what the next store is going to be. Probably Target White Plains. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But either way, I will see you at the next store. Cheers. This is extra delicious today. All right, all right, all right. It's day two of this hunt and the final day of this hunt. Over the bridge and through the woods to Spring Valley we go. Spring Valley Target, West Nyack Target, and there's a good chance we hit Suffering Walmart. Walmart, Walmart, to round out this hunt. So without any further delay, I will see you guys over in Spring Valley. All righty, sliding on into Suffering Walmart. Spring Valley Target was NWF, not worth filming. So, ooh, look at this. I'm saying it again, just in time for the holiday season. All sorts of turbo man in the house. Beast Wars, lots of Beast Wars. Don't see any Optimus Primal. We've got a bunch of rat traps and some Cheetors. Ironheart Legends. What else we got? Wow. Once again, fully stocked. Stalkers and Cobra. Are there any officers? How many times is this going to happen? A different Walmarts. Curled and curved cards falling off the, flying off the pegs. I guess I don't have the, the Midas touch like I used to. Um, Legends, nothing all too new, and nothing at all new for DC. Let's see, any Star Wars over here? Some vintage collection stuff, Endor, Leia, and why don't we flip around and go check wrestling and Motu, who knows what else? John Cena topics, basic, I haven't seen that. Is new. What is not new is Hollywood Cena. Seen that a million times over. Lots of John Cena. John Cena everywhere. Cena, Cena, Cena. More Cena. Also got uh, some Infinity Saga cap. Randomly hanging out. Three and three quarter electro. I need the new wave pad. I haven't seen it. Still need Silver Surfer. Um, nothing all too new here. I think this is the first time I'm seeing the Skeletor. I think. I think. It's pretty cool. And Man at Chicken Parms. Uh, this is interesting. An interesting design. And I think, folks, that is going to do it. Any King Shark gold label behind uh, King Shazam? Nope. <laughs> All right. I think that's going to wrap it up for another cap here Infinity Saga. Wrap it up for Suffering Walmart. I will see you guys over in West Nyack. And real quick before we go, these are some new raw tens, at least they're new to me. This huff is actually pretty sweet. That is pretty cool. And Pterodon in two different colors. Pretty sweet raw 10. I don't know, man, that's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Alrighty, since we are right up here at the front of the store, we might as well check the NECA section. This is the Neck a section in the kind of weird location, but uh, what do we got? We've got ghost face backwards. Leave them as we found them. Chrome dome. Mm, anything interesting here? That's interesting. Golden Girls. <laughs> Dorothy don't need it, but it's interesting. Let's shift over a little bit left. We've got some spawns sitting on the shelf. Netflix Eden. Oh, this is cool. Shout out to my buddy Joe. He'd love these. Very, very cool. Nightmare Before Christmas. And I'm not seeing much of anything else here at the NECA section. Here's a vulture. Homecoming. Random. Just hanging around. Okay. Why don't we go check the, uh, the main toy aisle and see what we got. I might have to pick that up for someone. Oh, rounding the corner into the main toy aisle. Black suit soups, fat cycle down here. And thus far, not really looking at anything that I haven't seen before. So 
or any of you guys haven't seen before. Got some Origins stuff hanging around. Random faker. Almost faked me out in the wrong uh, aisle there. <laughs> Eternals, a lot of them. Probably gonna be a common theme the next over the next uh, few months. What do we have up here? The Bat Cave. Awesome, let's take a look at this. Very cool, first time I'm seeing this. What's behind it? Nothing. Very cool, let's get a little close up here. Got the glare ski off the plastic, but uh, pretty cool, man. Very cool to see that. Don't think I need it, but cool to see. Oh, wow, right in front of my face. Mr. Fantastic, classic packaging, awesome. Got a lot of this on pre-order. Well, I guess we just found some new legends. Three of them, four of them, awesome. Very cool, I actually didn't order him though. Something to think about. Uh, let's flip over into wrestling and Motu. Anything good? Cena, Cena, more Cena, even more Cena, and uh, obviously no Star Wars. <laughs> Not really much, just Revelation. Oh, wow. No way. Vintage Collection strikes again over here. That's pretty awesome. How much is this thing? Here, anyone wants the uh, <laughs> scanner? I don't know. I'll have to scan it. Interesting. Might have to scan that. Otherwise, it's the typical Motu stuff that we've seen a million times over. And here's dinos. So, some interesting stuff here, to be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna be walking away with any of it, but we shall see. First time in a while, it is Target White Plains. And Lou, got a bunch of AW, looks like some Jungle Boys, Moxley, Hangman, Kazarian back there. This place is looking fully loaded. My buddy Joe said, yes, that's what he said. Is it all of them? Oh man. They are all still here. Brand new Motu, baby. Finally, it's been months. It's been months. We're definitely taking down this entire wave. And what a wave that is. Stinkor. Oh, man. Hello, P Beast Man. And Webstore might be my favorite out of this entire wave. We are absolutely taking every single one of these. There's the stack. Also, first time I've actually seen anything other than the Ghostbusters from that line. That's pretty cool. Nothing else really too new there. Um, DC. It's also nothing really to show in DC. And then Legends, Usual, Eternal, and Jamobius. A bunch of classified that we've already seen some more vulture looks like a ton of them and that's it so we're gonna grab the stack and go check NECA alrighty NECA here we come we are greeted with a bunch of DC I don't know why DC always pops up now in this target uh, this particular target in the NECA section I don't know new frogs a bunch of redeemers down there it was only a matter of time till Hey, that happened. Some Stranger Things. Got Pops. Got Pops. Uh, All Might. Ooh, what's this? This is new. Reptile. Two of them. Shout out to Jersey Geek. He's probably going to be looking for one of these. I might have to grab this. I might have to grab this. I don't know. It's a maybe. Or two of those. What else do we got? We got some. Three and three quarter reaction turtles, Jason Mask, Happy Halloween. And I think that's gonna do it for this target. 
Okie dokie, folks, and that is how you end a hunt, at least that's how I would end a hunt video, that's how I would envision ending a hunt video, and that is how we are ending this hunt video here today, could not have asked for a better ending to this hunt, shout out to my buddy Joe, thank you for the tip, man, um, you guys might have heard me even muttering something uh, about how my buddy Joe mentioned uh, as I was approaching the Motu pegs, and then excitement kind of just cut that thought off, and the rest is history, so... Target White Plains uh, was on the list today um, of stores to visit. The last store I planned to visit was Target White Plains. I probably got there a little bit faster uh, uh, after getting the text from my buddy Joe um, while I was over the bridge in Spring Valley in West Nyack. Probably got myself there a little faster than I would have if I didn't receive that text. But the hunter sense was tingling. I hadn't been there to that particular store in at least a few weeks and as you guys know already we've discussed this previously in this hunt video weeks in hunter's time is years so uh we were due for a visit there and we were due for a hit there were a lot of very close calls on this hunt uh very close to purchases that i did not make but uh wound up making plenty at the end and i'm gonna do a little figure spotlight here with this entire wave uh, because it's brand new and i just want to show it to you guys the attorney and goddess Beast Man, Webster, all of them. Here she is. We'll start off with her. Take a look, Ski. Sorry about the glare, Ski. There is the back. I really love this card art. It is really, really nice. And there's the wave. I love it. These waves just uh, never disappoint. I, this Origins line is incredible and this could be i think i mentioned it in the store this could be my this is my favorite figure of this wave web store there he is so awesome man i mean this is just fantastic i i've been waiting for this guy we finally got him you already know what the back looks like and next up is uh, Beastman. Feels like, uh, yeah, got some weight to him. Pain apps are meh. Head portrait's good. A little sloppy around the belt, as it usually is. But uh, hey, beggars can't be choosers. I'll take it. We'll see if we can find one with better pain apps as we go along. But I am very happy about this. And last. But certainly not least, we have Stinkor. So good. Paint looks perfect on this guy. There we go. No glare. And that's it, guys. That is going to wrap it up for this hunt. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, are you guys seeing any of the stuff that we saw on this hunt have you found any of it are you have you purchased any of it uh what did you like what didn't you like i'm always curious to know a uh, huge part of why i'm doing this channel and i've mentioned this before and a big part of the fun in collecting for me is to see and know what everyone else is up to and what are you guys collecting and what you guys like and don't like especially compared to the things that i like and don't like i mean there's so many things that i passed on during the course over the course of this hunt that you guys some of you guys might be like oh i would have bought that or i agree or i would disagree whatever let me know your thoughts on all of the this hunt's finds all of this hunt's purchases and passes let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and thank you as always for taking the time to not only watch this video but to take the time to check out the channel i appreciate all of you and i will catch you on the next hunt peace <laughs>